great, great stuff. And what a powerful entrance into that fine album. This album, as much as you've heard, I mean, it's uh, audience, it's, it's rocking and it's a full-blown affair. Great material on here. Uh, but I always love getting to, to hear somebody uh, apply their skills maybe on something a little bit different. the opportunity to play with some people Steve Miller that had to have been a lot of fun Steve certainly has a similar background as you uh, getting started at a very early age in the public uh, spotlight picking up guitar at a very early age to do so and then getting to play with some of his idols and mentors what was that like for you to hang with Steve and did he have some interesting advice or did you even ask for any yeah of course I did he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met in the world. And, and we were talking and he's just, he's a really nice guy. He really loves the band. You know, I'm walking off the bus and like, man, thank you know, just telling him how much of an honor it is. And, and you know, thank you so much. He's like, oh, gives me a big hug. He's like, man, he's like, I was doing the same thing you were doing. He's like, I was traveling in a, in a van and you know, Freddie King got me up to jam and all this stuff. And he's just an amazing guy. We still, you know, we stay in touch. I'd like to think we've developed a bit of a friendship. He's an awesome dude, he really is. Well, that's great to hear. Getting to, to meet Tommy Johnston and, and everybody from, from the Dewey Brothers was was pretty amazing too because, you know, we've all been listening to these guys forever. Kind of mind-blowing, really, it's hanging out on the bus with Peter Frampton, you know. And the, the bigger names that we've toured with, and they have several hits, most down-to-earth guys you'll ever meet. It's nice to know that there's people out there that, uh, that still really do care and uh, really appreciate good music. Mm -hmm. 